choice and only join the skin. We're going to do a virtual road trip to Louisiana today. All right, guys. If you don't have it, go to CerniesJourneys.com and get your handy dandy map to have and follow us along or start your own journeys. All right, we're going to Louisiana. Find Louisiana on your map. Right here, covered by. All right, there you go. It's on the bottom. That's right. So, Louisiana is in the southern eastern part of the U.S. Borders are Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas, and the Gulf of Mexico. Um, Louisiana is the 18th state that joined the Union in 1812. Um, the capital of Louisiana is Baton Rouge. However, the biggest city is New Orleans. So, um, New Orleans, or I should say Louisiana, um, is a melting pot of different influences. So, uh, the French, um, African American, um, and they, so they came up with their own culture. It's a Creole or Cajun culture. Um, so we're going to learn a little bit about that. Um, it is, um, let's see, it is named, so Louisiana is named after Louis the 14th, and it's known as the Pelican State. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Louisiana and some of the cool things with Louisiana. Um, one, or I, I'll tell you a few quick facts really quick before we start moving on. So Lake Pontchartrain uh, Causeway, which is a bridge in Louisiana, it's the longest bridge in the world. It's 24 miles long. So that's kind of cool. Um, but today we're going to talk about New Orleans and the French Quarter. So obviously we've got, we're ready. We're ready for some Mardi Gras. We're not going to talk about Mardi Gras. Um, too much because honestly, it's not really good for kids. However, all of this these what? things that we're wearing They all did come from New Orleans. So we are definitely authentic Louisiana New Orleans today um, You'll see a lot in New Orleans. They have the the three colors um, green which stands for uh, faith gold which I guess I have some here Stands for power and purple is justice. So that's what the, the colors are for. Um, so Mardi Gras actually happens in New Orleans and it happens in the French Quarter. And the French Quarter is the oldest neighborhood in, in New Orleans. And it was designated a national historic landmark. So some cool things about uh, the French Quarter, that's where Bourbon Street sits. Um, and then Jackson Square is another cool area. Um, I personally think that the best place in New Orleans is Cafe Du Monde because they have, they're called beignets and they're like this big and they are flour, well, they have powdered sugar on them and they taste like donuts. They melt in your it. mouth. We actually brought some, some, uh, um, dough, not dough. We brought some mix back from New Orleans and we had, um, some beignets and, it, and in it? fact, our neighbor makes some really darn good ones. Where is it? Uh, we'll have to make some again because they're so darn good. Um, I forgot what they taste like. They taste like donuts, but better. Yummy. Especially, yeah, they're really good. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys, if you go to um, New Orleans, if you go to their tourist website, so Explore, ex, I, I'm going to say it wrong. Um, ex, it's X-P-L-O-R-I-T, Explorit.com. You can go and virtually explore pretty much anywhere in New Orleans. It's really, really cool. The kids and I did it for, oh, 20 minutes, at least 30 minutes, and just kind of took a tour around New Orleans, and it was really kind of fun. So I would definitely recommend going to um, the New Orleans uh, Tourist Board and going and searching because there's a lot of really fun activities, and you can do a lot of virtual things that way. We also talked about jazz music. So jazz music is, it, it, it actually came from New Orleans, which is really kind of cool. And that's why we were playing a little bit of jazz. We um, did some looking into some famous jazz artists. Um, and so I guess I'll tell you a little bit about jazz and then I'll tell you a little bit about who we found is from New Orleans. So um, the African American communities started jazz in the late 19 century to early 20th century. So like late 1800s to early 1900s. And it, so their roots are really blues and ragtime. So that's probably why you get a little bit of the baritone with, with the fun in, in it as well. 
So uh, it, it was known as the American classic music, so kind of fun. Um, specifically though, Louis Armstrong, um, he is from Louisiana. So we decided to focus on him and we listened to some of his music. Um, he was born in 1901 and passed away in 1971, but he was known for playing the trumpet. So did we, did we listen to some of his music? And singing. Yeah, he, he, what was his voice? Remember? It was really... Like... It was... Like a cricket. It was deep. It was real deep. Yes. It was like more of a baritone voice, right? So Louis, Louis Armstrong actually has some roots in Chicago too, as, as you guys know, that's where we live. So um, he came to Chicago and, start, and helped with starting up the jazz scene here. Um, and his first album um, came out because of his, his coming to Chicago. So most of you know his song, What a Wonderful World. And that came out in 1967. I don't know it. We listened to it. What a wonderful world. Remember? Oh boy. We listened to it 15 minutes ago, I'll tell you. <laughs> but the last thing we wanted to talk about, about Louisiana, was the alligator. Show me what an alligator does. Oh, it's much bigger than that, isn't it? It's like this. Right. So alligators are the state reptile of Louisiana. And they're also known as gators, right? When we watched that video, what was the guy saying? There's... Look at all those gators! I've never seen lot... that many gators. That many gators in my life. Yep, exactly. So, Louisiana has the most um, alligator population in the U.S. There's over 2 million of them in the wild. And there's an additional 300,000 of them that are um, in habitats. So, that's a lot. That's a lot of alligators. Um, so... Yeah, so they can live. To, they can live to be fifty years old. So thirty to fifty years old, and a male alligator can weigh up to five hundred pounds. Oh, I know, what? and he and, and a female can be about two hundred pounds, so quite a bit smaller. And they grow from nine to fifteen feet long. That's incredible. It is incredible. Um, and they're reptiles, obviously, so they're cold-blooded animals. And obviously, we know they. What do, what do you think an alligator eats? Fish. Oh okay. yeah. What would you say? Me. <laughs> they could eat you. However, they normally don't eat you. They yeah, could. Only if they mess. It, only if you mess. I, I I agree with you. Right. Like only if you throw rocks at it. Yeah. Well. I would. Or or you I wouldn't. hit it or slap it. I wouldn't get that close to an alligator. They're actually pretty fast. I, mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they they. I'm faster than that. Yeah. Just if you uh, if you're ever getting chased by an uh, alligator, do zigzags. Oh yeah? Yeah. Good tip, Jamin. Let's hope we never have to do the zigzags running away from alligator. Um, so How you're right. They, well, I would be running the, I would be running out of that water faster than you know you believe. Like there's no way. Uh, but you're right, Jamin, they do eat fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals, which And we, me. We happen to be mammals, that's right. So and they live in fresh water. So obviously Louisiana I'll eat the alligator. So obviously Louisiana is a good place for them because Louisiana has wetlands and marshes and swamps. So we actually saw some some when we went to Florida in yes. the Everglades, but um, we still have to go and do it in Louisiana too because that seems pretty fun. What if you get killed? Well, we'd stay in the boat, girl. We wouldn't go swimming. Yay! With them. It's not like we're going swimming with alligators. Just saying. I would never do that. <laughs> never do that either. All right, guys. So. What do you think? Do you think we had fun in Louisiana? Yes. yes. All right. So let's uh, let's say goodbye and let's uh, talk next time. Bye, guys. Don't thumbs forget up. to like and subscribe. Thumbs and up. Thumbs up. Bye. Bye. Bye.